What's up? It's uh, very interesting to see all of you because currently there is lunch. No. Okay. So first of all, thank you for coming, even though there is lunch right now. Um, one of the first things that you are doing when you are creating a React application is starting with probably Bubble. Yes or no? Yes, because all the documentation or everything else is written in ES 2015 to 16 to 17 to 18, whatever. And we all, we all see that. And this is the first pick that we are picking. Of course, we picked React. This is the second pick that we are picking when we are creating our application. So why TypeScript? Why do, am I standing here right now and asking you to go and convert your religion to a language called TypeScript? So I have three main things to, to share with you why I think that TypeScript can help you to craft better applications, okay? But uh, there are more than those three things. So let's start with the first one, which is uh, interoperability, okay? A very hard word to say in English interoperability. Uh, TypeScript is just a superset on top of JavaScript. That means that every JavaScript uh, thing that you are writing probably will run in JavaScript, in, sorry, in TypeScript. Okay? This is the, the one of the coolest things because I can convert .js files to .ts files and everything should work. Really? No, because if I have problems and bugs that I introduced, introduced in our, my files, then TypeScript will find those, those things, those bugs, those, those features. The second thing that I really like about TypeScript is having features from the near future in my hands. For example, I'm, I'm using TypeScript from the early beginning, and from early beginning, you could have used things like classes and models which were introduced in ES 2015, three years ago, but TypeScript already exists for five years. So a lot of new features that are currently in the specs, are you can use them in TypeScript because the TypeScript team also take those features and implement them and gives you those features right now. So if you are fond of async await, it's two, two years from, uh, it exists two years in, in TypeScript, okay? And only one year outside in ES 2016. The, st the third thing is, of course, the typing thing, okay? Static typing and type inference. TypeScript enables you to uh, add typing into your system. And you know what we are saying about typing in our system? You can't get a compile time error if you don't use static typing. Duh. Okay, so this is one of the biggest things in TypeScript, but not only this thing, but are there the other things like interoperability and the <coughs> features from the future. So now you might think, yeah, let's use TypeScript in our application. How can I do that? Create React app. Script version equals React script TS, and boom, the entire application can be written in TypeScript. What? We came here, and you are taking our lunch time, and what we, are, what we need to do is just do this? No. The problem that we are trying to solve here is not create React app, because who is starting a new project right now? Raise your hand. If you are a consultant, then you raised your hand. If you are not a consultant, then probably you are already maintaining some application or some website. So we're dealing here with legacy code. We're dealing here with adding TypeScript to existing application that already uses ES2000 and whatever, okay, in, the, in, the, in your application. So from here and until you go to lunch, stop. It's demo time. 
So we want to introduce TypeScript to our application. The first thing that we are going to do is npm install. Okay, I'm going to do that, but before that, I'm doing it, I want to show you the application that I created, which already runs in the background, which is this. Boring. Okay, so this is application mimics some legacy code that we have that includes some components. That component is currently a timer that, that runs and counts that when you're going to go to launch. Okay, so as I said, the first thing that we want to do when we, we want to start with TypeScript is, of course, npm install TypeScript. But since we are using probably Webpack, I'm also going to uh, add awesome TypeScript loader, which is a Webpack loader for TypeScript. Okay, so I'll let npm install run, and yeah, it ran very fast. Thank you for the internet. Um, and now we're ready to use TypeScript. So one thing that you might ask is why did I install TypeScript locally in the project? Uh, I don't want to break other applications and other things, so every time that I'm creating a new app, I'm adding TypeScript locally and not globally. So I'm not using the dash G uh, flag. Okay, so we installed TypeScript and we are using React. So let's install the typing for React. So what I'm going to do, npm install, types React, types React DOM, and prop types. The idea here is to introduce to TypeScript the type. So if you're working with TypeScript, you're working with, uh, with typing language. And out of the box, React doesn't come with all the typing. So I need to write the typing, okay? Or install the typing for React. And most of the application, not, not application, but frameworks and libraries today already have types in their type system. So you can use uh, this at types slash whatever with the name of the library or framework that you're using and you probably will install this thing for you, this typing. So the third thing that you are going to do when you want to use TypeScript is introduce the tsconfig.json. This, this file will enables you to configure the compiler of TypeScript one when build, does, build is running. So you can do something like this. This is the configuration that I'm going to use in this application. Uh, out there, the this there, uh, source map, yes, I want to generate source maps from TypeScript. I'm going to use the co common JS model system, target to ES5 and not ES2015, 16, 17, whatever. And the big issue here is this, JSX, React. I want to use React, so I want to add this thing. Now, we are still in the setting or setting our environment. So we have our TS config set into place. The next thing that you probably want to, uh, to, you, to do is to introduce TypeScript to your Webpack config file. So here is the Webpack config file, and what I'm going to do is, first of all, I want to introduce to the resolver of uh, Webpack uh, my typings. So I can do something like this, okay? Every TS file and TSX file, I'm going to uh, put it in the pipeline of, uh, of uh, Webpack, and I'm going to do this loading file thing, okay? Uh, rule, if the I get a TS6 file or I can uh, get a TS file, then use the awesome TypeScript loader. And I'm doing that before I'm going to add the bubble loader. Why do I do that? Because I want to compile everything in TypeScript and then use the bubble loader. Why? Because in my application, I can't convert everything to TypeScript. Okay, and TypeScript from version 1.8 can run side by side JavaScript and TypeScript files. So then you can do that thing and introduce TypeScript to your legacy code or legacy application and don't, you won't break the entire application by doing that. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how I'm going to add some TS file or TSX file to my application and use the side-by-side 
a compilation in order to create a, a new file called, let's, set, let's copy the clock.js and the, let's do clock.ts. Uh, and here I'm going to implement my, uh, my entire application, rnts. It's going to be this thing. And you can see that the WebStorm saying, hey, you need a file extension of TSX because it's going to be in React. And let's take a look at both of the files, OK? Clock.js here was implemented using regular ES 2015 classes. And we have here the constructor and the state that I'm setting and all the component uh, lifecycle event and the render function and in the bottom default props and prop types, OK? I want to do the same thing in TypeScript to show you the how do you can do that in TypeScript with typing. So let's take a look at clock TS implementation. First of all, because I'm using TypeScript, I'm going to use interfaces. All my props and state are going to be uh, created by an interface. Here is the interface for the props, label text, and the state. Then I'm going to extend the component, React component, with all the props and the state. If I want to add default props, this is very, very fast. Static, default props, label text. Instead of doing this thing outside clock.proptypes. It's the same thing here. Again, with prop types, I'm going to use static prop types, and this is going to be required. Then the constructor and component uh, will uh, did mount, unmount everything else is the same thing. Okay, but we introduces, introduced typing into our system and we have a component that's written in TypeScript and a component that is written in ES2015. Not a lot of changes here between those, both of the components. Now, to show you that I can run things side by side, I'll put both clock and clock TS in my application and do npm run start or npm start and let's see if i did everything right compiling 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 hmm thank you you didn't do import to clock ts let's do that Let's build it again, and voila. We have TypeScript and ES2015 classes running side by side. And this is the idea of this, uh, this talk. You can use both TypeScript and ES2015 together and in your applications. So let's summarize. If you want to include TypeScript into your application, which is written in React, one thing that you can do is if you're starting a new application, use Create React App from version two, TypeScript is part of the ecosystem of Create React App. If not, then do it yourself. How you can do it yourself? First, add it, uh, the uh, installation of TypeScript and awesome TypeScript loader. Second, add the tsconfig to configure the compiler. Third, add the TypeScript resolver in the webpack, and you are ready to go. Then you can migrate the entire application on your own pace, okay? You don't have to run and replace everything to TypeScript. You can do it slowly, you can take it bit by bit, and you can use both TypeScript and JavaScript on your application. So with that, thank you and bon appetit.